Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 5 talking about ML functional performance matrices and continuing ahead with our next segment which is 5.3 limitations of ML functional performance matrix. Of course, uh, not everything looks the way it is supposed to be right for cause we do have different matrices and uh, everything does have a dark side of it and certainly we are talking about the challenges or sort of limitations of what we can face with the functional performance matrices though it looks good in terms of measuring everything but it has few limitations which we must be aware of and certainly if we can take care of that or try to prevent it certainly could be a good measure for the effectiveness of the ML models. So ML function performance matrices are limited to measuring the functionality of the model in terms of accuracy, precision, recall, AUC, MSE, and Silhot coefficients. They do not measure other non-functional quality characteristics such as defined in the ISO 25010. And here we are talking about the performance, security, expandability, flexibility, and a lot many other things, etc. So though the topic name says performance matrices, a lot of people may kind of like consider that we are talking about non-functional characteristics because that's what the foundation has taught you. But here let us just make it clear to you that no, when we say performance, this is generic performance, not talking about quality characteristics, but only talking about the functional parameters of an ML model. In this syllabus, the term ML functional performance matrix is used because of the widespread use of the term performance matrix to refer to these functional matrices, adding ML functional highlights that these matrices are specific to machine learning and have no relationship to performance efficiency matrices. So. Let's not confuse ourselves that we are talking about any sort of quality characteristics, but we are just limited to talking about the core functional attributes of the base performance. Now, ML function performance matrices are constrained by several other factors. For example, when we talk about supervised learning, the ML functional performance matrices are calculated on the basis of label data and the accuracy of the resultant matrix depends on correct labeling. So we'll talk about it in 4.5 anyways. The data used for measurement may not be representative, like it may be biased sometime, and the generated ML functional performance matrix depend on this data, which of course we have covered in chapter two already. The system may comprise several components, but the ML functional performance matrix only applies to the ML model. For example, the data pipeline is not considered by the ML functional performance matrix to evaluate the model. And finally, most of the ML functional performance matrix can only see the measured with, can only be measured with support from the tools. Like not exactly we can do it ourselves because a lot of matrices are complicated to do it ourselves and you need a tool support to do that which could be seen as a limitation because it invites extra cost and efficiency of person operating it so put together what are we trying to you know summarize from here that not everything is precisely measured or not all the characteristics can be actually measured through these matrices and more importantly things are different when it comes to different type of ai based systems thus the matrices doesn't have capability to measure everything so we should be aware of that these matrices are only limited to few things including precision accuracy f1 score etc and doesn't have capability to deep dive in everything what comes to our mind which is available in our generic product testing and measurements we have 50 plus matrices available for measuring anything what we do in our generic products but when it comes to ai based system people are still busy exploring what best can be done in order to do them. So, so far, what best known to us is this. And along with that, these are the limitations at this point of time. Of course, down the line, as people start doing more research, you may find more information to do better matrix reporting and evaluation of the uh, ML model's effectiveness. Well, that was a short tutorial on limitations of ML functional mode performance matrices. 
and uh, we'll look, just look forward to stop here so thank you so much for watching this tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning